I guess I'm going to start here. Just as an example, take your mag out, empty chamber. This is Mom's H&K P30L. This is a 9mm version. The L is the long slide, obviously. The standard length is probably somewhere around here. The subcompact is even shorter, obviously. The cool thing about this particular pistol, if you like the paddle mag release or if you're left-handed, that's a thing, however you want to do. This gun is completely ambidextrous. The uh, slide lock, safety, it has a decocker on the rear, which will take your hammer to the half cock position, which is there. It is also double action, single action. Not a super great trigger. You see, there's my wall. Take up, it's kind of squishy. It's not bad though. Reset is all the way out here, then take up again and squish. It's not terrible though. Take down, fairly simple. Uh, you have these two notches. Your safety, or your slide lock, locks into the first, first one. You ease it up a little bit, push this through, but it doesn't come all the way out. You see here there's a little red shelf, and that will let your slide slide off. Other than that, it's pretty standard. Has this recoil spring, which has a recoil buffer on it. I don't know if that's standard or not. Gravity is standard. And a standard takedown for your barrel. Goes back, as you would expect. Now, I can't pick it up. There we go. Now, if you're thinking this looks kind of weird, it kind of does. But this little hook here hooks in to this part of your barrel. So, just like any other gun, you put it in this way. And just kind of push forward. Like that. You'll hear it click in. Now, if you do have it left or right, it has to go right in the middle because this little lump right here interfaces with the middle of your right here, your uh, slide lock takedown lever. So, there are full length rails, but it only catches here and here, obviously. So you just kind of put your frame in your slide, ride it back. It helps if your hammer's back. Push it back that far, push it in, and you're done. And the same goes with the standard size and compact. This is the long version, hence the L. But that's all the major features about it. It also has interchangeable back straps and side panels. Now, give me just a second here. Let's use the sound wrench. Oop. Okay, it's in my left hand. Just push this pin. Hmm. Allen wrench is a little too big. This is also an improvised pin, actually. And your back strap will slide down and off. There's your hammer spring, as you see. And your side panels here slide out. These are 
medium on both sides, your left and right do matter. Oh, it's a small on the other side. It's a small and a medium. And it will tell you here, left and right, and small, medium, or large, wherever you can see that. I don't know which way this video is going. I'm sorry. It's a new setup. It's a new place. Uh, I haven't made a video in forever. This is a small back strap? Really? A small back strap, small right and medium, no, small left and medium right. That just slides on right there. Your pin pushes through. Your back strap obviously holds on your side panels, and this pin holds on your back strap. And that is also the case with the standard size and subcompact. Yes, even the subcompact has interchangeable side panels. Mag release. It's easier to hit with your middle finger of your shooting hand than to try and reach around with your thumb and push it down. But that's how these European mag releases work. Chamber. Decock. And you're good to go. And, as I said, <clears throat> if you are so inclined, you can carry it with the hammer back and the safety on. That will effectively block your trigger. So that's the P30L and P30 and P30SK. All three are the same.